Welcome to episode six eighty seven. Robin sang nine lessons. This is an outline of episode six eighty seven. Lesson one to lesson five. This is an outline of episode six eighty seven. Lesson six to lesson nine. Lesson one: Battery King of the World. He founded his company CATL in twenty eleven at the age of forty three. Nine short years later. He is the battery king of the world. Lesson two: Best education. He graduated from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Many consider the MIT of China. He also earned a PhD from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the most prestigious Chinese think tank. Lesson three: Switch sector from shipping to battery. His first degree was in shipping, yet he quickly switched sector to battery. At age thirty-two, he began work at ATL. In two thousand six, at the age of thirty-eight, he earned a PhD in density physics. Lesson four: spin off. His company CATL was a spin off from ATL. ATL is one of the world's largest producer of batteries. For example, for Samsung, in 2011, at the age of 42, he founded CATL, which is a spin-off of ATL. They both in the lithium battery business. Tianang, located in Xinjiang Village in Zhejiang Province, is one of the biggest Chinese battery makers today. Lesson five: the Chinese government subsidy for electric vehicle. About ten thousand dollars per car. Now here is a Chinese official discussing the role of subsidy in electric vehicle or electric cars in China. The average subsidy is about U.S. ten thousand dollars per electric car. Lesson six: the day of reckoning, the day when subsidy for electric vehicle ends. The Chinese government subsidy for electric vehicle. Which will end in 2020. Lesson seven: Model Huawei research and development. Huawei spent 10 percent of its budget on R and D. For more on Huawei, please watch episode 261 and 262 of this channel. Lesson eight: Blunt and realistic message to his employees. Using the pig and typhoon metaphor, is if there's a typhoon, will pigs be able to fly? I'm going to explain here the pigs and the typhoon. The pigs is his company, C A T L. The typhoon is the brewing storm. The Chinese government subsidy for electric vehicle, which will end in 2020. Lesson nine: He bought density patent from Bell Lab in the United States. The third reason is Robin Sang went to Bell Lab in the United States to purchase density patents. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Do you like green self-made billionaires? Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.